What's up, fellow movie buffs and film connoisseurs? It's your self proclaimed cinema showgun here. And remember the other day when I made that video about that crazy lady that showed up to the laundry's home? Uh, laundry? Ryan Laundry talking to the cops. Now we're gonna get to here, Gabby. No, not that one. The one that wasn't a Karen. She was a Jennifer. Did you know Gabby and Brian? And I'm not a Karen. I'm, I'm a Jennifer. And they really don't want to be on the That one. That is the one I was talking about. Well, as we all know, she showed up to the laundry's home and stole a couple of signs out of their front yard. And, you know, I thought it was kind of stupid. Why are you showing up here to do this? She claimed that she didn't want any publicity. She claimed she didn't want to be on camera. She also claimed to be Gabby and Brian Laundrie's co-worker. She said she knew Gabby and Gabby was a beautiful person and that the Laundries were good people too and that all of this was a big mistake. And you know, we all know what she said. And a lot of you in the comment section were like, man, she should get sued for this. You know, someone's gonna sue her for stealing their signs. Well, of course, this being the laundry case, all the craziness going on here, of course, she was going to get sued. You thought she was going to get away scot-free with those signs? No, 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 no. That's not how the laundry case works here. The craziest outcome is the most likely when it comes to the laundry case. And she was getting sued, or she was about to get sued, I should say, because it turns out she came back and returned the signs. That's right. They went out. They actually filed a police report about this. I'm guessing they were gonna take her on Judge Judy as well because that's where the Chris Laundry case is about to go. So it's it's just crazy because after following this case for so long, the only legal a action that's taken place here has been over a few stolen signs. Chris Laundry is getting sued over taking the sign out of his own front yard. And this lady was about to get sued. I'm, a, I'm guessing they're not gonna press charges or anything anymore of these signs because she returned them, but it was all over these signs. So no, Brian still hasn't been even officially announced as the suspect in Gabby's murder. He hasn't been named as Gabby's murderer. The parents haven't faced any charges so far for helping Brian or maybe knowing a little more than what they let authorities know. None of that. The only legal action we're getting out of this whole entire case is going to be a couple of petty ass lawsuits over some cardboard signs that were sitting in the laundry, laundry, the laundry's front yard. That's all we're going to get out of this. And as the, the days go by, it's looking more and more like nothing's going to come out of this case, if you want me to be honest with you all. They haven't even extracted DNA yet out of Brian's supposed remains, his fractured piece of a skull that they got dental records from, but they can't figure out if he killed himself or how he killed himself. They can't figure out none of that stuff. Nothing, like we're just getting nothing out of this case at all. I mean, I would think that the laundries are still under investigation and I actually gonna have an update coming up about that here soon. But as of right now, weeks into this case, all we have is two deceased young individuals and nothing else to show for this whole entire case. Nothing to show for this whole entire investigation. We have no answers, nothing. Just a couple of lawsuits over a couple of stolen signs and a few Karens that have gotten very popular over the last few weeks. But I want to know your thoughts about all of this down in the comments below. While you're down there, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. And as always, find some time out of your day to go watch a movie.